Hey everyone, long time no see. I'm so sorry. I haven't like came up with the, or I haven't filmed the video since like November. I'm so sorry. I just I really do not have an excuse and I'm sorry I keep making these promises to make more videos, but I'm trying to get back on it as I always say, but um today I have a humongous collective haul. This is from December till January kind of till now. Um and kind of like what I got for Christmas, but I didn't really get that much. I just got money. So this is all the stuff that I bought with my Christmas money. First thing I got was this new Chanel, fake Chanel. Because Chanel don't make iPhone cases. But I got this um, Chanel phone case from my parents. And they caught it from Hong Kong. And it's already like chipping already, but whatever. But yeah. Um, I got this phone case from my parents. And then... Um, for some reason, my mom, she always gets me like a new sweatpants suit from Victoria's Secret Pink. But this year, I asked her for specifically for like new, new yoga pants. I've worn these so many times already, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, they're just like this. They have like an elastic waistband and then a little dog right there. And then they're just like capri length. Um, they go a little bit past my knees, but not that much. But I wear these to like, um, like running errands or working out, whatever. So I got those. And then, um, God, I have so much stuff. I don't know where to start. Okay, so um, I got two new beanies. Um, this one I got for Christmas from my, my cousin. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Warriors fan. It's a basketball team from, you know, my hometown. So, yeah. I got this beanie, and it looks like this, and it's like, it fits me perfectly. So, yeah, I got this Warriors beanie. And it says the city on it. Whatever. So, I got this beanie. And then I got this one from Dime Piece, um, LA. It's just black with, um, their logo, Dime Piece, right here. Um, I really like this. It looks super, like, grungy and stuff like that, so... That's what that one looks like. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got that beanie. Um, everything. Well, if I can find the item, I'll list it down below. So yeah. I spent so much money at Brandy Melville. Like, you see this bag? It's full of all this crap. But um, anyways, I love Brandy. You guys know. So um, I'm going to start off with this tank top I got from them. I think this is $20 or something like that. Oh yeah, it says 20 right there. And it's just like a cutout. One of those cutout t-shirts. And... It says New York City and then the B word. I thought it was really funny. So yeah, I got this. And it's a little bit cropped. But yeah, this one was $20 if you guys are wondering. Um, so I got this tank top. And then I got another tank top. It's like a gray tiger mineral. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I have it inside out. But um, it's this another side cutout low um, tank top. It has like this tiger on it. It's really cute. Very um, It's lightweight. And it's like this mineral-y gray material love it but yeah i think this one was 20 also i don't know where the tag is but i think this one was like 20 something <coughs> um then i got i invested in one of their sweaters again i love their sweaters and i got this one right here it looks like a granny sweater it's like an oversized like kimono styled um sweater um but yeah it's again it's just a thick knit and then this one was like 60 I know, it's so expensive. But yeah, I got this one, and I really love it, and I wear it with like everything. And yeah, I really like this sweater. And then I just got a plain crop gray tank for when I wear like maxi dresses. I mean, not maxi dresses, but um, like just anything. I just thought it was a good basic to have. It's just this crop gray tank top. This one was like 12 bucks. It was really cheap. Okay, next thing I wanted to show you guys was all of these accessories that I got. I got so many new accessories and they're really, really cute. The first thing being these um, gun earrings. Can you guys see that? Is it focusing? Is it focusing? Yeah, they're just like this. They're nothing that special. They're really small, just silver gun earrings. I thought they'd be really cute for just like everyday earrings, so I got those. And I got tons of rings and bracelets and all that good stuff because I just, I just thought I needed to update my uh, jewelry collection because I honestly don't have much jewelry. First thing I got was this um, infinity bracelet and it says love on it. Can you guys see it? Is it focusing? I don't even know. But yeah, this one was $5. Really, really cheap, but yeah, I thought it was so cute. So I got this bracelet, <coughs> and then um, the gun earrings were four bucks, I think. Yeah, this is the tag right here. It was four dollars. Okay, and then um, 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 next thing I got was this like, is this skull with like, like a little rhinestone? Can you guys see that? I'm not sure if you can see that. 
But um, it's like those over the knuckle rings like this, so it just sits on your knuckle like that. It's really, really cute. It's in silver, and this one was $4. So that's what it looks like. Got that ring. I got this bracelet. I got a matching bracelet with my cousin, because we're cool like that. Has a little Buddha thing. Has like these purple multicolored beads, and it just looks like this, and then, you know, where I thought it would look really cute, like when you stack stuff. So I got that, and then this one was eight bucks. A little bit more expensive, because I think this this Buddha charm is like hard to find. I don't know, whatever. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really sweating. It's hot in my room right now. Anyways, moving on. I got the same rings in like different colors, because I'm weird like that. But I got this um, over the knuckle ring again. It's, it's a silver cross. Can you guys see that? Sorry, I'm not painting my nails so they look hideous, but so again, just an open knuckle ring, cross, and then this one was $4. All these are super cheap. And then I got um, this elephant ring. Can you guys see that? The detail? It has like three elephants on it. I think this one was like 4 as well. Yeah, really cute. And then these ones I've been looking for everywhere. They're the infinity rings. These are really, really small. This is in rose gold. I think this one was like $4 too. Yeah, it's $4. This is in rose gold. And then I have another one in silver. Another infinity ring. But yeah. So that's all the jewelry I got. Actually, I'm missing a ring. I don't know where the other ring went. Um, sorry, one more ring. Because I just found it right now. It's another infinity ring. But this one says... It's kind of like the bracelet that I showed you guys first. It says... um, ooh, It says... Love, can you see it? Can you see it? I don't know, my camera doesn't focus, I think. But it says love, and it says, and that's just a little infinity ring again over the knuckle. So I'm gonna have a ton of rings to wear. I'm really, really excited. Um, it's funny because I haven't even worn any of these because, like, I wanted to film this. But, anyways, moving on to my forever, my big forever 21 haul, or part of my haul, sorry. Um, I just got jeans just because I, I get jeans like every single year and they're just the dark wash um, denim. These are like 10, excuse me, I think they were like 1080. Um, they're really cheap. Um, so my dad got promoted back in December. Yeah, December. And he had a, a, a promotion party. So I wanted to wear this at the promotion party, but I ended up not wearing it at all. But. I thought it was just a good thing to have because I actually don't have a blazer at all. Like, I don't own any blazers because it's just not my style. But I thought, hey, you know what? I'm getting older and I'm going to be starting doing a lot of interviews for volunteering positions or job internships, whatever. So I need a blazer that I can wear. And why not wear a blazer to, like, when I go out and stuff like that, too? So I got this one from Forever 21. I love it. It's tan and it has black sleeves. It's, like, a good contrast. And then... um yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's really, um, it's fitted. And this one was kind of expensive. It was $34.80. But, I mean, it's really good quality, I can tell. And it does have shoulder pads a little bit, so it gives the blazer a lot of structure. Um, this is what the back looks like. I'm not sure you guys care, but, again. And then it has pockets on the side. But I thought the tan would be, like, a good, um, alternative to black or, like, boring navy. Because I, I don't know. I think it. I need a little more color in my wardrobe too, because I, I have a lot of black clothes. <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing black already. But anyways, so I got this blazer. Love it. And then, okay, moving on to the accessories. I got a lot of, I didn't get a lot of accessories, but I don't know why this time around I got a lot of accessories. I'm going to accessory shopping a lot. Okay, anyways, I got this gold chain for Christmas. It's from 421 though. I think this one was like 7 680 or something. Everyone has this gold chain, but I really don't care, but it just looks like this. It's just, it looks like, uh, let me show you guys. I mean, obviously, like, I have a necklace on right now, but, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I wear it going out all the time. I would also wear it with, like, something simple like this, like a sweater. I would wear it with this sweater, but, yeah, so I got this gold chain from Forever 21. And then, uh, what else did I get? Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the boring stuff first. I got these just everyday earrings because I always lose my studs. Like, I don't know what it is, but now I bought studs from Brandy. I bought studs from Forever. So these are good, but yeah. I just, it just has a pearl and then just some diamond hearts and then black roses. And these were only $2.80, so that was a bargain. 
And then these two finds I'm like super excited about because I was actually thinking about buying the chains from the H and H R H H and H. I don't know what the hell they're called, but the the collection where they sell like those the the chains you know online. But they're really really expensive. They're like twenty dollars for like a bracelet and then forty dollars for like a necklace. I'm like I don't have that kind of money. So I found these two gold chain. I mean not gold chain. This is rose gold. This is silver. But I found these two chain. Um, two chain. <laughs> Anyways, I found these chain um, bracelets from Forever, and they're so gorgeous. Um, this was in rose gold, and this one was four eighty. But yeah, it looks like that. And I just can't wait to wear this. It'll look so cute with a blazer, or you know. Yeah, I love this. But yeah, I found this one, and again, it was four eighty. I'm not sure you guys can see that. And then I got the silver one too. These would be really good to stack. I wouldn't even stack these together. I don't know. I like mixing my metals, but I mean, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. But yeah, I got these two necklace uh, bracelets, and then I got the necklace, and then the earrings. So, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <sighs> Went to American Apparel again, and I invested in another pair of pants. Um, I know you guys know I invested in the riding pants back in November for um, Black Friday, but <sighs> I tried these on in black. I wanted to get them originally in black, and they did not look good on me. I don't know why. I didn't like it. It made me look like Catwoman or something. And then, oh shit, sorry. That was my music. I tried on the blue pair. Oh my god. I've worn these so many times, but I love these pants. Again, they're just high-waisted pants. These are the disco pants, and I think they're midnight blue or dark. I don't know what the hell the color they are, but these are, these are expensive. These are like $80, but totally worth the money. Um, as usual, I love American Apparel pants. But yeah, that's what they look like. Sorry, they're really crinkled. I put them back in the bag just so I can show you the bag. <laughs> but they look like this. Um... But yeah, if you guys want me to style these, I can do that in a separate video. But yeah, I got the disco pants in blue. And if you guys are wondering, I'm about a size 5, 4 or 5 in pants. And I got them in a size small. Um, unlike the riding pant, these aren't as forgiving. Like, they fit a lot more snug, I feel like. And they don't form to your body as easily as the riding pants. But yeah, they fit almost the same. But I would say for the riding pants, size 2, go 2 sizes down. For the disco pants, go 1 size down. But yeah, I really love these pants, and I wore these on New Year's, I think, yeah. But yeah, I like these pants. Okay, now for my big papaya um, haul. If you guys don't know what papaya is, it's, it's like, a, like, a, like a cheapo like fashion store. Um, some of the stuff, not gonna lie, is really bad quality. But if you really look for like those pieces, like they're actually, they have some pretty cute stuff actually. For example, oh, I just slapped myself. I got this trench coat. Oh, oh. My chair is... Sorry. Anyways, I got this trench coat on sale. I think this one was originally like $40. But I freaking love it. I will try it on for you guys in a different clip. But, oh, I'm so excited about this. It's a, it's a classic cut. Uh, it looks really, really sick. I love it. Um, it's a trench coat. And it's like this like champagne color tan. And then it has the buttons and it has pleather sleeves. But I love how you can take in the waist right here. It looks really, really like fashionista. I don't know. I really like this coat. But again, I got it for $20. But yeah, love this coat. Okay. And then I got this really cute crop top. It was like $10 or something. It's freaking cute. But I can't wait until the springtime comes. I honestly hate dressing for winter because I feel like I look fatter. Because I have to wear more layers. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Isn't, it so, isn't that so cute? But yeah, it's coral and it has this lace. And it kind of, it it's cut like this. So like it points near your belly button. But I cannot wait to wear this in the summer, springtime with like high-waisted shorts or pants, whatever. But again, this was $10. And then um, I finally found a black pleather skater skirt. Sorry, it's really wrinkled. It was in the bag the whole time. But it looks like this. Um, I'm actually planning on doing like a video on how to style this too. But yeah, this one was only $12. And it fits me like a glove. Love it. But yeah, I got a pleather skirt. Because I saw these all over Lookbook and I was like, oh my god, I have to have one. So I got that. <laughs> and then 
I got this, okay, I've been wanting this turtleneck thing for like for ages and I couldn't find it anywhere. But, and then I found it again at Paya. And it looks like this, it has like a mesh lace detail and then you can tie it at the back like this. And then um, it's cropped again. Yeah, it's really sexy, I love it. Paula wears my hair up or side curl, you know, with like a red lip or something. But yeah, got this. I think that one was like, how much is this one? This one was only $12, guys. Can't beat that. Okay, and then last thing I got from there was this um, mint green. I don't own anything mint green, so I really want something mint green. It has like these sh the shoulder cutouts again, and it ties in the middle as well. And it has the gold spikes on the side. Really, really cute um, for spring. I got this in a small, and it was only $15.99. Okay. Okay, now moving on. Well, I don't know if you guys will be interested in this, but I got one lip liner from MAC because I really wanted one. Because you guys didn't know, I'm really into <laughs> dark lipsticks now. And I got Night Moth by MAC. It's just this really kind of dark, vampy, purple lip liner. So I got Night Moth by MAC. Anyways, my last part of my haul is from Goodwill, and, um, well, I only have to show you one thing, because the other thing, I didn't, haven't done anything to it. I haven't done anything to it yet, but anyways, <sighs> first thing I got was, oh, I'm planning to make this into shorts again, because I do have a pair of thrifted, high-waisted shorts, I mean, pants that I cut into shorts, but I cut them too short, so my butt hangs out, so that's not... I can't wear that on my family, so I need to do it again. But I've thrifted these pairs, this pair of pants, and it fits me perfectly. It fits my waist. It fits my booty. Like I need, I just need to cut them. But they're Levi's. Woo! And I got these on sale because I think usually Goodwill charges like $7.99 for pants. I got them for five, which I mean it's only two dollars cheaper. But hey, two dollars cheaper. It just it just sounds so much better. Like I buy these for five bucks. I buy for $7.99. Like doesn't it sound much much better? Like five dollars, right? But yeah, they're super high-waisted, as you guys can see, the, the pant, um, the pockets are high up. A lot of people were asking me how to find, um, like, if you go thrifting, how to find out if a pair of pants are high-waisted. Honestly, try them on. And another thing you guys would probably notice on high-waisted jeans, if you guys go like this with your hand, and you guys can see from the zipper, from the crotch area to the zipper, if it's, like, really long, that's high-waisted. And then you can also tell by the pocket placement, if you guys can see that the butt pocket is, like, placed higher on the pant versus lower so that's how you can tell that they're high-waisted also by the cut of the pant um obviously you don't want to buy boot cut jeans because then that means they're low rise um classic fit i think is what they're called for these kind of pants but yeah don't be afraid to look in the men's section also because men men believe it or not they also have high-waisted pants in the men's section but yeah i got these high-waisted pants that i'm gonna cut into shorts later if you guys want me to do a DIY on that, I can too, but leave it down, leave it in the comment below if you guys want to see that. Okay, last thing from Goodwill. Okay, this is like my treasure find of like the year. I always go, well, I don't always go thrifting, but I mean, I stop in the thrift store, the thrift, st the thrift store a lot, and I have never seen something like this in my life. But then I saw it in the blouse section. I was like, oh my god, this has to be mine. It's so me. I'll probably wear my disco pants, but look at this. Look at this blouse. It is freaking redonkulous look at that oh my god it was so 80s it has the shoulder pads and it's like this beautiful chiffon material i freaking love this oh my god this is like my thrift find of the year like it is so fabulous like i love it and it cinches at the waist so yeah this is this is like i don't know i really love this find but yeah i paid four to four or five dollars for this four or five dollars for this guys look and it's made out of this really nice like chiffon material but yeah, um, yeah, I think that's that's it for my haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to all you guys soon.